We're back with some more college basketball action here for Monday, December 5th. And you know you're getting into the heart of college basketball season when Monday slates begin to look like this. Not a whole lot of games going on at all, but there are a couple I like today. So let's jump right into it. Now we start out the show with Kennesaw State taking on Charleston Southern. Kennesaw State comes into this game as the 238th overall team in the hot tip of power ranking. Charleston Southern is the 343rd overall team. And you know, for Kennesaw State, they are off to a solid start here this season. A five and three record come into this game following a win over Mercer. And they've had some impressive performances. A game against Florida. Um, they played VCU very, very strong. End up losing that game by only three points. And it's really a Kennesaw State team that I have been very impressed with this season. On the other hand, Charleston Southern really doesn't have a ton to love about this team. I mean, only one Division One win this season coming against Bethune Cookman. And yeah, they've played some close games, some games that ultimately they probably could have and maybe should have won. Um, but offensively, it's the Charleston Southern team that has really just struggled this season, especially when it comes to shooting the basketball. Just have not been a great team. Only hitting a 46.7 effective field goal percentage on the season. They're also only hitting 32.9% of their shots from beyond the arc. Overall, just a Charleston Southern team does not shot the ball well. Claudia L. Harris Jr., though, has really been a bright spot and maybe the only bright spot here for this Charleston offense, um, or this Charleston Southern offense, rather, dropping 17.6 points per game for him. But there really is a major, major drop-off um, after him. Um, only one other guy who is averaging double-digit points a game. And when we look over to Kennesaw State, They've been strong on the offensive side of the ball. I've certainly shot the ball much better this season. A 50.4 effective field goal percentage on the season for them. They're dropping 39.3% from beyond the arc. They've been absolutely deadly from perimeter this season. A lot of that success has come from Chris Youngblood, who leads this team in scoring this season with 15.1 points per game, or over 40% from three from him this season. And, you know, while they do have some issues on the defensive side of things, don't get me wrong, Kennesaw State isn't without their own flaws. Um, they do a really good job rebounding the basketball they're pulling down 78 percent off the defensive glass with actually the 24th best team in the country when it comes to defensive rebounding we look over to the charleston southern thing um their defense isn't great <laughs> and, and rebounding isn't good at all only pulling down 66.7 percent off the defensive glass with the 312th team in the country in that category and really we go into this game i'm kind of surprised how low this spread is for kennesaw state yes charleston southern has played some close games this whole this season especially at home but it's a Kennesaw State team that when they crash the boards, they can really make it hard for their opponents to have extra possessions um, and really, you know, create opportunities to score the ball. And I think that's going to be Charleston Southern's biggest mistake in this game and biggest issue. I think they're going to struggle to get those second chance opportunities. Ultimately, I think they're going to struggle to score points. And then Kennesaw State's going to get a pretty big win here on the road. I'm taking them minus three and a half here against Charleston Southern. Now, quickly, before we take a look at the second game here on Monday, if you haven't already checked out hottipbest.com, head over there. We got college basketball, college football, NFL, NBA, NHL, UFC, horse racing picks being posted up on the website every single day. So make sure you take a look at all of that content. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets main account on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter to stay up to date with everything that's being posted over there. Follow my personal account at Hot Tip Chris on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter to stay up to date with all the content that I'm putting out, as well as on Best Tamp where you can get early access to all my picks and get a notification every single time that i place a bet and last but definitely not least for watching here on youtube hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any more uploads and drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on here for monday and let's get into the second game Kent State heads to Spokane to take on Gonzaga and what is probably the biggest matchup here on Monday. Kent State comes into this game as the 107th overall team in the hot tip at power ranking. Gonzaga is the second overall team. And strangely enough, we bet on both of these teams on Friday night. Kent State gets the win and the cover in their game. Gonzaga can't quite hold on, end up losing to Baylor by one point on Friday. Um, but obviously turn it around playing here on Monday. And it's a Kent State team that I've been absolutely impressed with this season. I mean, a great win over South Dakota State dominated that game um, from start to finish. They, they obviously, the game before that, held Houston to five points on the road in that loss. And, and overall, it's a, it's a Kent State team that's been decent on the offensive side of the ball, you know, dropping a 50.7 effective field goal percentage, also hitting 36.8% from beyond the arc. But the, the real success for Kent State comes on the defensive side of things. But it's not going to be an easy task stopping a team like Gonzaga 
Gonzaga, who is, you know, the number one team up there, at least um, when it comes to offense and when it comes to shooting the basketball. I mean, yes, Gonzaga has struggled to win some games this season, but they've obviously played, you know, a very, very tough non-conference schedule. And they're still one of, if not the best team um, in the entire country when it just comes purely to shooting the basketball. A 56.7 effective field goal percentage, hitting 39.2% from beyond the arc. Um, not to mention Drew Timmy down low in the paint um, is a monster presence once again dropping 18.6 points per game currently leading this Gonzaga team um, in scoring and you know it's a, it's a team like I said in Gonzaga who's played some close games um, but the real issue I have with them this season compared to some of their last teams is the defense just isn't quite there especially when it comes to forcing turnovers which Kent State does so extremely well um, Gonzaga hasn't done that nearly as good of a job only forcing a 17.4 turnover percentage this season they're actually the 252nd team in the country when it comes to forcing turnovers and defensively Kent State does an amazing job forcing turnovers a 27.2 turnover percentage for their opponents Kent State is the sixth best team in the entire country when it comes to forcing turnovers and we saw that be a major factor against Houston that was obviously what led to the big win against South Dakota State in their last game Malik Jacobs um, has really just been off force in the turnover department forcing four steals per game for him and overall it's a Kent State team that, that I'm very very high on it they're very dangerous um, in the MAC this season yeah Gonzaga is still a great team they're still obviously going to have a lot of success as the season goes on even though they've lost a few games here early but their defense just isn't there for what it was in the past few seasons I think it's a Gonzaga team that really struggles to win some of these games big because of it um, you know just trying to rely so much on their offense I think they struggle to win this game big and I think Kent State just keeps it close on the road I'm taking Kent State plus 15 and a half here against Gonzaga